Developing tonight, a violent weekend in Philadelphia. Several shootings taking place, including one incident that left two officers injured. Our Cheyenne Corinne has the latest. Well, fortunately, already one of those police officers have been released from the hospital and both are in stable condition. But as interim police commissioner John Stanford said earlier outside of the hospital, this is just the beginning of recovery when something like this happens. Highway 30, we have a report of an officer shot. Highway 30, officers down. When I said they will physically recover, um, it still is a very heavy thing mentally uh, to know that you've been shot in the head, uh, to know that you've been shot in the face. Uh, again, just doing your job. Two Philadelphia police officers are now recovering after a 40 year old man reportedly shot them around 2 30 a.m. this morning. It all began when officers responded to a report of shots being fired near Cotman Avenue and Roosevelt Boulevard. When officers are arriving and surveying, uh, a second district supervisor uh, notices a vehicle that fits the description of possibly being involved in that shooting. Um, officers begin to attempt to stop that vehicle. The vehicle fled from officers at some point on uh, taking the officers on a pursuit. A short time later, police say officers came across the gray Dodge Ram pickup truck on Frankfurt Avenue and Welsh Road in the Holmesburg neighborhood. According to police, the suspect rear ended the patrol car of two officers and when they exited, started shooting. The suspect is a 40 year old male uh, with uh, multiple priors. One officer was shot in his ankle and grazed in the head. The other officer received a graze wound to the bridge of his nose. Interim Commissioner John Stanford also says this is the second time one of the officers has been shot on the job. I mean, being involved in something like this one time, uh, you know, plays a lot on you mentally, but, but having to be involved in something like this uh, again. Two other officers also arrived at the scene and began firing shots at the suspect, but they were not injured. The identities of the officers have not yet been released, but one is 32 years old and a nine year veteran, and the other is 31 years old and a six year veteran. The officer with the graze wound to the nose was released from the hospital earlier today. We have these press conferences over and over and over again where our officers are in, involved in these type of incidents um, that one displays the, the commitment that they have, but also displays the, the lack of respect for law enforcement. Now, in terms of the suspect, he is in critical condition after undergoing surgery. Now, this time, it's not clear exactly how many shots were fired, but all of the discharging officers have been placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. I'm here at police headquarters. I'm Cheyenne Coran, Fox 29 News.